Hello, everybody. It is Monday, the 26th of November. And today, we've got to get down to serious business. We've all talked about the problems over and over and over again. Folks, that's great. It's great to be able to inform people for people to get to know what's going on that might not otherwise, and with the media that's running wild, getting the truth out is almost impossible. So that brings us to us. We've got to do it. And guys, I have told y'all before, I did not, in the beginning, necessarily support Donald Trump. I wasn't against him. I just didn't necessarily support him. But I took the position that at least he was not one of them. At least he was not a politician. And he was saying things that made sense. Now, there was all the hoopla around him. But the man was telling it like it should be told. Now, his sin is that he has proven over and over, he has proven that if we will stop electing professional politicians, people that nearly from childbirth are groomed to be politicians after they were lawyers, they can't work. They can't do for this nation. But you take an individual, a private person, look what we've learned. We've learned that that person can get stuff done. It's something we've got to do more of. But right now, we've got to protect him. And we're going to. I am drafting a letter that we are going to send to President Trump, and I assure you, he will, with his eyes, read it. And what it's going to tell him is that we are in support of him, that we're going to do whatever we've got to do to help him. We've got his back. There'll be details in the letter telling of different projects that we are willing to do. But here's the problem. The problem is we've got to have a lot of people join us on this letter. A lot. That's where you come in. Folks, sending a letter to the president with 10 or 12 or 50, 60 signatures, I will not do. That's an embarrassment. And it's also damaging. It runs the risk of making Trump feel like the support is dropping off. We've got to have numbers. I want to hit 100,000. Don't know if we can go that high, but I want it. Look. People have sat on the sidelines and griped, moaned, talked about all of this, that, and the other. And I hear more often than not people say, well, what on earth can I do about it? I'm just one person. Well, this is everybody's chance to be more than one person. This is everyone's chance to once in our lifetime literally show our kinsmanship to our founding fathers. I dare say if they were here, they wouldn't tolerate this. They would not tolerate what our government is doing. They won't. They wouldn't. But we are so trapped 
in a world of nothing but professional politicians in Washington that have only one goal, one mission, and that's taking care of themselves, not us. And we can't allow that. We've gone on doing that far, far too long. So are you with me? Are you with me? Are you willing to sign a letter? Now, the letter is not controversial. It's not going to be anything. You'll get to see it. It'll be posted on our site. It's not going to be anything that you should be afraid of. Not at all. Matter of fact, I would hope you would be proud to be a part of it. We need your support. Then, as we speak, we've got work being done for yard signs. Yard signs that you can get that say, basically, if an illegal is allowed in, you pay for it. We want you to let your neighbors know in a non-confrontational way that every illegal immigrant that is allowed in here, we end up paying. They don't. We do. And don't let the professional politicians fool you either. They don't pay for it. They just make it out like the money comes from the government. Folks, the money from the government comes from us. We're at a point now to where we're taxed so heavily that we can't keep going. We just can't. You know, our founding fathers complained of taxation without representation. Now, let me tell you, do you think we have representation on our taxation? Do you? Tell me. Tell me. I don't think you can. Because all of this stuff that we're paying for, a lot of it, is stuff we don't need. It's just something that the politicians can use to increase their budgets to make them more important. And remember this, for everybody they hire to work for the federal government, we're locked in to another paycheck that we have to pay. The best way to look at that is when there's a crisis. How many of you have seen this? When there's a crisis or a shutdown or whatever you want to call it, what do they do in the government? They say, okay, we're laying off everybody except non uh, all non-essential employees. We're laying off all non-essential employees. Good God, if they're not essential, why are we paying for them in the first place? Think about it. It's a little thing. Makes sounds funny, sounds corny, but it's true. You have got to engage. We have got to be there for President Trump, and I will tell you why. 2020, his re-election campaign is going to be tough. The media, the Democrats, the whole world, it seems, have worked hard to brand President Trump to be in a collusioner with Russia, to sleeping with hookers, whatever. They have branded him at every single turn. He's a racist. You know, since when does following the law of the land, of our land, of our law, since when following the law does it make you a racist? You know, I ask you on that other program, what would you do 
if a couple, three or four people came, knocked on your door, you open it, say hello, and they just brush you to the side and say, now we're moving in. I mean, you, you know, we need you to feed us, clothe us, and take care of us, our needs. What would you do? Would you let them? Would you call the police, tell the police you've got people trying to abuse you, break into your home? The answer for most people is, no way would I allow it. What do you think we're doing on the border? What do you think is happening on our southern border? They're coming in, crossing the border illegally, spitting on our laws, using lawyers, professional lawyers, using politicians, professional politicians, playing this like a game. But folks, when they cross that border into our country, the game ends. Then they become an expense an expense that you and I have to pay. we got to stop that. President Trump is trying to stop it. But since it benefits the Democrats at this point in time, to use that against Trump, hey, they're, they're there. They're saying, me no Trump mean all of us because we're racist because we don't want to love and let these people in that are suffering so. They don't care about them. Politicians don't care about them anymore than they care about us. It's just a hook. It's just something else to hook as many people out there as they can. They're doing something we did with the Clinton. It's called Broken Coalition. But folks, this one's going to be tough for Trump 2020. You better take this down. Make a note of this. They're going around, and they're getting all of these different groups hooted up over this immigration and everything else. They're going around and turning them against Trump. Now, ordinarily, for example, the homosexual world they wouldn't have enough votes to make a major difference in an election by themselves. But then you take the blacks, then you take the Muslims, then you take all these other splinter groups. You put those all together, and you've got a big vote. That's what Donald Trump's problem is going to be. It's going to be the way they have captured all of these sub-societies, thrown them a carrot, and get them all to stand together against Trump. They don't even have enough sense to know. Why? Why can they not have enough sense to look, go to that damn computer? Look on the computer. You want to see socialism? Go to... Anywhere you want to go. Anywhere. It fails. It does two things. First thing it does, it drains the country of its money and its assets. It always does. Always. Look at Venezuela. I don't use it alone because Venezuela is just the latest of the ones that have been tricked. But throughout time, it's failed over and over and over and over. But they come in, they strip a country of its money and its assets. And then, you know what to do next? They put the people in that country basically into servitude. You don't have any money. You can't buy anything. They close down most of the stores. You only buy from where the government lets you buy. Is that what you want? Is that what we want? And then that 
woman or girl, whatever you want to call her, that won Massachusetts or wherever. I ain't even going to say her name because I can't say it. I can't even remember that at the time. But she's the flag. She's the flag now. She's somebody. And she's out there screaming to high heaven. She already has 16 Democrats in the House of Congress that are standing with her in a caucus to change our form of government to a democratic socialist nation. Can you believe that? Don't believe me. Ask her. Look, guys. Many of you that are hearing me right now, we could look at it and say we're so old that we're going to live our life out and it probably won't happen that fast. Now, be careful with that because it will. But let's just go with it might not happen that fast. But if you've got children, if you've got grandchildren, what kind of person are you? What kind of person are you that you would leave your children and grandchildren in this kind of country, the one they want? We've got to stop this bus. This bus is burning out of control, and we've got to stop it. So I'm going to ask you. Support us. Do the things we ask you to do. They're not hard. Sign in a, a letter to the president. That's not hard. Getting a yard sign or two, putting it up, that's not hard. Well, yeah, but if I put a yard sign up, you know, my neighbors might get mad at me. My God, when are you going to stop worrying about your neighbors or anybody else being mad at you? Why aren't they worried about us being mad at them for destroying our country? But no, we sit back and we don't want to rock the boat. We don't want to shake things up. Well, folks, it's time to shake things up. Now, we're going to talk business. Business. I have to have help financially to do all the things that have got to be done. I devoted my life, everything I have on, don't own, hot, on, to doing my part. What about you? Now, it's important that you support somebody. You don't have to support me financially. You don't have to. If there's somebody else out there that has a plan, a plan that you believe in that could work, then fine, support them. I'm not sitting here telling you, you just got to send money to me. I'm telling you, I need you to support whomever you believe will be the most effective. Everybody listening to me has five or ten dollars. Some of you have five hundred to a thousand. I don't believe you expect me to try to do everything and pay for all of this and do all of this and nobody else do anything. I mean, that's just not right. I don't like asking for money, but I don't have a choice now. We are up against it. We are up against the wall. And you're going to have to fight. You may not want to. You may think you're not going to. But sometime in the next two years, it's going to touch you in a way that you have to do something. And the problem's going to be every day beyond today. Every day beyond today. What can be done is going to get limited more. Come January, when those Democrats take control of 
the House of Representatives. The world's going to change. All of the projects President Trump has planned, they're going to stop them. They're going to stop them. They're in a position when they control the House to stop anything he has planned. And believe me, they will. Then they're going to go after him. They've made that quite clear. They're going to keep on and keep on doing indictments or whatever. It's just, they're going to interview. They're going to put subpoenas out. And they're going to catch Trump at something. One of them told me, or didn't tell me, not me personally, but he was talking and I heard it. You know, no man is perfectly clean. Certainly not Donald Trump. We just got to find what it is. But they're right. No person, especially me, is clean. But you know what? We've got to try. We've got to try. And I need you. Do you hear me? I need you. I will do my part. I will. And I will do my part to make it very hard, very, very hard on the Democrats to go after Trump. There are things I know and tricks I know that if we have enough people helping, that we can do them. But I need help. So as I say, if you've got $5, $10, $25, all of it adds up. All of it. But the worst thing you can possibly do and I'm talking about five, ten dollars, whatever, to anyone you want to work with, whatever organization you believe in that has a plan. I don't mean somebody that just does aggregating articles. That, that's not a plan. All right. That's not that's not moving us down the road. I'm talking about people that have action plans that they're trying to do. Send them the money. Or send it to me. But the worst thing you can do is nothing. I want to remind you, in the Bible, the sin talked about the most by God is the sin of omission. Omission. You see, doing nothing is doing something. Ever thought about it that way? When you're you're sitting there and thinking, well, I'm not getting involved, you are involved then. You are. If you can hear my voice right now, you are involved. And at that point of involvement, you've got to do something or nothing, which is something. So I'm not going to beat on you much longer about it. But please tell me the words I could use to make you understand. I can't pay for what I have to pay. Do all of this too. I need help. And I think it's fair. I think it's right for me to ask. But even at that, I tell you, there are other programs out there, I'm sure, I don't know who you listen to or watch or read. Pick one and work with them and help them. But think about that five, ten dollars you got. The day this country changes, and I don't mean totally over to being a socialist nation. Mm -mm. Soon after the Democrats take hold of Congress, of the House, soon after they take it, you're going to start losing money. You are. You're going to lose money. 
And there's going to come a day when you're going to have lost so much money that you can't take it anymore. And you're going to say, Larry, help us, we're in trouble. And in that period of time, I won't be able to. It'll be too late. And they're going to come at me, they're going to attack me every which way, up, down, whatever. I know that. And that ought to be worth some help, just standing in front of them, taking the licks. But will you help me help us? Hmm? I have a PayPal account. And it is Nichols Live at AOL dot com Nichols live at AOL dot com I have Mary Ellen on the line Mary Ellen what is our website where they can get that information Nichols live dot com well, no, I was asking for the website yeah that's the website your page oh, okay. is Nichols live at AOL dot com the website is nickelslive.com. Ah, okay. Well, folks, that's what we've got. The choice is yours. It's up to you. So with that, I'll say good day.